How are we, viewers? Oh, yeah. How are we? Hiya. It's me and Jeff. And yeah. John. No, no Jeff you're John. John. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I was. Most days he's Jeff. I was, Other yeah. days he's John. And he, today, he doesn't know sometimes. Today, today. I don't know either. <laughs> well, obviously, but you might be looking at this oh, and thinking, what's that on John? Just tidy up a bit. <clears throat> no, just clear me throat. Got some issues out. So first of all, we're going to tackle uh, what would happen in a nuclear war. Yes. And how to protect yourself from nuclear, uh, a nuclear bomb. I'm being where we are now. Yeah. Do you know our location at the moment? We're, yes. We're uh, not far away from a big petrochemical industrial site. So by the crow flies. Yeah. What are you talking about distance? Well, it could be a it, it could be a harrier. And it could be a, a seagull, but I know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, 17 miles? Or? Yeah. Well, as, oh! the crow, as the crow flies. But look, yeah. so we will be in the epicentre of a the nuclear epi bomb. bang, bang centre. Yeah. yeah, we'll be the bang, bang. Yeah. We'll be the boo, bah. We'll get the bah. Yeah. <laughs> so will we feel anything? Uh, well, what, if you're standing, say, one side of it, uh, probably this side would heat up for... Four nanoseconds yeah. faster, so you you might have a sensation of oh, that's hot. Well, ooh, yeah, <laughs> just like some, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, that was your thought, you know. I mean, look, but so we're gonna actually get beer. Yeah, we're gonna. So, so we've got to we've got to take you've we've got, got precautions. Prep. Yeah, prep. So is this uh, what would that do? Is this got what, what well? Can you explain. It's got all the elements you need. It's got UV protection because the Ray Bans, yeah, or maybe Chinese <laughs> copies, but the actual. Foil, uh, dare I say it, um, you know, the aluminium, which is bad for your brain. Actually, in this instance, it's, it's good. Topic, yeah. Now, the design part of it comes from the fact that the Vikings all knew about radiation. I mean, you think they looked up and saw the Aurora Borealis, and they go, wow, that's radiation, man. And so they built all these bespoke hats, didn't they? Is that why they wear the horns? Yeah, with the horns. They're, they're conductors. Yeah, they... They conduct all the good energy, and, re and the steel is like they 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 could afford steel. We can only yeah. afford foil, you see. They had bespoke steel points. I just hats. thought they wore them so like scared the like you know the you know when they come like raping and pillaging on the coastline. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, that, look at these. No, that, that's the cartoon, and that was when Hollywood took oh, over sure the Viking era. Yeah. yeah. Be before that, you know, they had they had like a, I don't know blacksmiths making all the body armor and the shields and. The, Spike and swords, excellent. Did that weapons. inspire Tesla? You know when he was. Every, yeah, Tesla's they tower. were probably more advanced than him, but they did it in a different. They probably had just used their minds connected through these antennas. Yeah. Because you remember uh, the the runes they found in uh, was it Iraq or Persia as it was or. Oh, in the in the in, yeah, in the market Middle square, East, there's Italy, like yeah. Viking runes yeah. carved into the. Did they ever translate it? What what did it say? Well, Panny said something like, uh, Ilstergad was here and was bored shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ilstergad. 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 Viking Gandan. ruins in Middle East. Yeah, because they traded. How did he get far. from Norway to the Middle East? There was just no Suez Canal. There's no Ryanair then, was there? No. 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 They, they used their boats. Their long, they were long boats designed that way so they could get river navigation going on a good stead yeah but if you get say okay you, you get round to the, the, the gibraltar they were known as the uh, was it the pillars of hercules yes yes yeah. it's a hard place to get through you know yeah. bay of biscay very stormy most of the time i think they they navigated across europe and do you think Italy. that the horns that you're saying again had some connection with telepathy or they were like wired to the uh they were, they were probably well advanced in spiritual and energetic things that yeah yeah trans they can just transmit so then he got to Persia on we call this sixth sense but the, yeah. to them it was uh, the one after this you could be actually setting a trend off but uh, realistically how I mean you got to protect your eyes how are you going to protect your body if we're in the epicenter of a blast going well, back to the nuclear because that's you what you can actually suddenly pull these down but that's only if you've got like a second morning you know if you keep your head tilted maybe most of the radiation will reflect off and the antennas are tuned yeah. to the electromagnetic frequency of a nuclear bomb so what that does that it just cancels it out it just goes ah. it's like two magnets you push them together and they so that the is you're spinning around you go click 
Well, I've, I've got something which could uh, deter, you know, oh. my brain. I remember you showing me this. This is brilliant. Yeah. And just they, they because it, you know, oh, yeah. what yeah. what could go wrong? Could go wrong? <laughs> I'll just get the eyelets in the right yeah. position. Yeah. I'll see. Look, that's, that's a sign as well. See, Bubba, yeah. Bubba holding his ring. And also, it, it's like a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you that's could, you could. Be ch- where's North? Look, it's actually it's going south, John. Yeah, I am enlightened, you know, by what you say. Yeah. So there you go. What went wrong? What and, went wrong? And uh, John's. New uh, glasses that could deter a nuclear. Deter, war. definitely deter. Yeah. I don't know. So you could be the last surviving people on this planet Earth. If it is World War Three, do you know with all this uh, thing kicking off? Well, this is World War Five. They've been lying. It's happened loads of times, folks. Oh, World War Five. Okay. Yeah, it's World War Five. This. Well, do you know what I'm going to say to you? But you look in the desert as you evidence. Was, you were telling me, oh, we have. Well, well, what? Or, or do you mean the green glass you were talking about? Everything, just previous wars. Yeah. There you green go. Glass. Research. Some facts in that. Yeah. And it's I like f- it. With a bit of fun, yeah. Uh, it's protection against yeah. nuclear blast. And, and also because it's Chinese and they'd, they'd, it'd be like, because they've got good steel, haven't they? Chinese steel's the best in the world. Yeah. And, well, I shouldn't say that because the Indian steel's good as well. Just as, Indian just steel, as best. Yeah. Not red Indian or. Tata. Ta-ta. 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 Ta-ta.